Hi, Dr. Joe Spoo, the gun dog doc for Yukonuba. As a sports medicine specialist, I see all kinds of injuries, common, crazy, you name it, with these hunting dogs. Unfortunately, some of the injuries we see are injuries that we inadvertently cause in these dogs. We're through here, the most common problems we think about with Labradors are cruciate injuries, rear leg issues, but in the clinic, I probably see as many if not more of front end issues. And th those are the ones that are gonna be nagging chronic sort of issues with the shoulder and with the elbow. Both of those are the two joints that personally I hate to deal with the most because they're very difficult joints to actually correct or heal as we're able to with some of these other injuries. A lot of them are injuries that we cause. If we think about this dog's arms, they don't have big biceps. They, the shoulder joint is actually, as a joint, is a weak joint, even though there's a lot of muscles associated with it. And so what do we do when we get to hunting spot and we're ready to go, getting ready to go, we pop open that crate and let the dog jump off the tailgate. Every time we get someplace, we let them jump out of the vehicle. And when these elbows, which are multiple bones coming together, take that impact we're putting undue stress on the outside of those elbow joints if these dogs have any amount of dysplasia or issues with those elbow joints we're exasperating that every time they jump down and then every time they land they're putting stress on those shoulders which again we're not meant to take that impact and so we see these dogs all the time with shoulder and elbow injuries that were caused because of our excitement and just letting them jump off the tailgate jump off the tailgate jump off the tailgate one simple, easy, preventative sort of thing is to help them down. And so, you know, Rue's a, a handleable sized dog that I can lift down off the ground when we get ready to go. If you have a much bigger dog and you have a back back, there are apparatuses that you can have ramps off the back of the tailgate. There's uh, steps that you can plug into your receiver hitch for the dog to step down. And even if you don't help or lift them all the way down, but you guide them as they're jumping so that you're taking some of that impact, you're going to take all the impact off of that shoulder and, and, and those elbows and keep that dog healthy and out in the field longer with just one simple step of not letting them jump off that tailgate. Let's go. You ready, Rue? Let's go. Okay.